Hey everybody, it's Bruce. This is a shop update. So uh, this week again, I didn't do a whole lot in the shop. As usual, I've been too busy to spend more than an hour here or an hour there. So I didn't do a whole lot, but let me go ahead and quickly show you what I did do. Uh, first of all, you probably or maybe you saw my ring project from before. I went ahead and stained that, gave it a much darker color, and uh, also I found the linseed oil that everybody's talking about. There's the uh, linseed oil, big can, wasn't too expensive. And here's the stain. I hear a lot of people like Dutch Horse on YouTube here talk about using linseed oil a lot. And even my dad said you should try using linseed oil. So I found some linseed oil and I got it. Well, one thing I, I upgraded an existing project. Who can guess what this is? <laughs> Looks strange. Um, but actually what it is is it goes into my car. I have kind of a sport wagon and it's to mount my bike so I take the front wheel off and the forks uh, fit right over these uh, rods here and then I tighten tighten these nuts down and I can just stand the bike up in the back of the car and it's really nice and organized so I took that opportunity to try making my very first pocket holes my wife bought me a pocket hole uh, kit it's up there and uh, I've never made a pocket hole before and I really didn't have much of an idea what I was doing and actually mine, my first ones, I think they looked a little bit funky. I'm not sure if I did something wrong there, but uh, I guess it's strong. I don't feel like it's going to break. So uh, anyway, I wanted to make it slightly wider and also give it some length too, so it would be less likely to rotate. Really, it was just an excuse to use the pocket hole kit. <laughs> um, the other thing I did is um, I bought this wrench set, which was super cheap. Actually, it came with eight pieces. This, this here is a 17 millimeter, and I bought it for three euros, I think, 290. Incredible, it was on sale. I mean, they're super, super cheap wrenches, I'm sure. But uh, it'll be perfect for this job because I don't tighten these nuts that much. And that's another thing I did with this upgrade today is I added these dowel pins to, you know, kind of capture the wrench so it just sits there in the car. Before I was using my nicer wrench and it would just go sliding around and fall behind the seat or whatever. So now it should stay put. Stay put. Hopefully the uh, the bike will stay put good. So that was the upgrade there. I'm actually when I'm I'm gonna make a bike rack later on I think, and I might use the same kind of concept for capturing the front fork. And the last thing I did was decorate my and add a handle to my uh, I don't know what you call it work cabinet. Let me show you. So as you can see, I painted most of it black. Behind here was the blue that I left. I just stuck a saw blade on there and, uh, you know, painted, spray painted all around. Uh, the handle here was actually uh, from a bike I got out of the garbage, and that is one of those uh, grips that you can add on, those cheap grips that you can just screw on. And um, yeah, so I just kind of nothing fancy, just uh, put a screw right through it, and seems to be fine. Um, this thing is, God, I'm not going to show that. Oh, right, I almost forgot. One of the last things I did today is just made this clamp holder. Um, yeah, not much to say there. And I also made a hole so I could put my pin. All right, everybody, thanks for watching this update, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.